been Hispanic. You know, not the military yes. Hispanic, but yes. he, and I thought okay. Andrew Cardinal was here too. Yeah, let me share something with you. George Bush was never a fiscal conservative. Okay. Never was. Wasn't when he was in Texas. They spent money like it was, let me tell you, when I inherited the, the place in 2000, 2001, the session of 2001, right. our resources started going down. We had a little bit of a depressed economy. But they had spent money, I mean, 95, 97, 99, George Bush was spending money. I mean, George has never, ever been a fiscal conservative. You agree? Right. There's That's a guy who's right. been there. And there's a real difference. And, and now, Paul Rowe did a good job of going up there and, but they never talked about his spending. They talked about what he did on tort reform, and it was okay. I mean, they did some things in 97 that was, you know, better than what we had. It wasn't anything like we did in 2003. But, but George was never a fiscal conservative, and I think people thought he was. And, you know, yeah, Stephen Clinton said that. that Look, he was better than Al Gore, so I didn't <laughs> 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 no. Now, in George's defense, in 95 and in 97, he had a Democrat lieutenant governor and a Democrat speaker of the House. And the governor of Texas uh, does have veto power. And, and, and frankly, uh, my criticism is that he should have told those guys, what, you're spending too much money, and I'm going to veto some line items. They, made it, they make it hard on in Texas. So in his defense, I will say, but he never went to him and said, y'all quit standing. Yeah. Share that with you. Yeah. That, yeah. That Rudy's a real fiscal conservative. I mean, he, he really is. I mean, he is a supply-side Reagan Republican. George Bush is not. And he never was. My bottom line was I care about this greatly. I care about our country. I care about not letting Hillary Clinton be the next president. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I want somebody who is a supply side Reagan conservative. And that's Rudy Giuliani. I want somebody who is going to be strong on crime, can stand shoulder to shoulder with me to protect the southern border of our country with Mexico. Uh, I want somebody who can, with clarity, with strength, with intellect, fight this war on terror. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a long war, and it's not going away. Well. No, uh, not I mean, let me tell you, that in, 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 the, if, if we elect the Democrats across the board, the war on terror is not going away. It's just going to happen to happen here. <laughs> and, and, and I want the war, and I want the conflict to be over there in their country. Yeah. I want to stop them over there before they get back over here. So, I come at it from who, which one of these people that are running has the management ability to run America? Who has the ability to go to Washington, D.C. and make it work? Because it ain't working today. They are spending too much money, it takes too long, and they're doing more harm than good. So, I look at the candidates, and you know, I got a couple of governors running. Got a guy who's run the largest city in the United States. Well, that was intriguing to me. And let me tell you why it was intriguing. No offense to Arkansas, no offense no. to, to uh, uh, Massachusetts. They're not big states. And managing one of those states is different than managing Texas or California or Florida or New York. And the, the Iowa voter is a very plugged-in conservative voter. And Rudy knew from the get-go that, you know, he was probably going to be facing a pretty good hurdle running against Mike, uh, running against Mitt, because Mitt spent a ton of money in here. I mean, he is just, he's a paper displaced with money. He was just a number Ten million dollars. So Mike has, you know, and Mike's a great friend. I, mean, I, I, I love Mike. I mean, we're, he's, he's like a brother. I just don't think he'd win. <laughs> <laughs> the fact of the matter is, that's, that's, and I share that with him. He asked me to be his national chairman. About six months ago, and I told him, I said, "Man, I love you like a brother, but I said, I just let me, let me, let me slide here." <laughs> <laughs> it was a hard conversation to call him, tell him I was rude. He was disappointed, a bit frustrated. But, uh, I still love him. He still loves me. 